Hello everybody, welcome back to, once again I will introduce it as possibly the last season for the Houston Hammerheads. We had a strong finish to the year, which I feel like doesn't happen very often. We finished 7-1-2, and two. how you doing? And we finished second in the league, we actually tied for points, but we ended up going down in the row category, unfortunately. But it's okay, still a great year, we don't have that President's Trophy curse anymore, and... We have the Vancouver Canucks in round one who finished 5-5-0. They only had two less wins than us, so not a big separation there. But anyway, let's see what's going on. I'll show you guys our lines first, and then we will go check out Vancouver. So our first line is Newhook, Reinprecht, and Raymond. So yeah, good first line, if I do say so myself. Uh, our second line is is Breland, Zegris, and Fitz. I'm noticing that we are really slacking on X-Factors and abilities, I'm going to be honest. But you know what? The team still did good, so I don't care. Uh, we got Moore, Robertson, and Torsten, legend. And then we have uh, Franklin, we got Cop, and we have Miles Wood. Okay, on defense, we've got Miro, and we have Bouchard. Yep, we've got Kavanaugh, Sergachev, and then this last pair is a plus three. Still only a one-star puck skills and one-and-a-half shooting. At least, you know what? He's a defensive defenseman, so that's okay. He's got he's to gotta shut down defensively. Uh, yeah, I mean, he does have four-star defense, so he's got something going for him. His skating isn't even that good either. Yuri, I don't know how... Anyway, um, regardless, I'm not going <laughs> to chirp my own team. We do have Teal here, elite goaltender, 91 overall. McNaughton as well, medium elite at 82. So he is a good second string goaltender that we can go to if we need to. Without further ado, let's check out our opponent. The Vancouver Canucks. Where are you at? Boom. There we go. So they got this guy. Uh, is he a sniper? No, he's a two-way forward. His shooting category is actually kind of poo. But he does have an X factor and three abilities. They still got... Oh, wow. Okay, he's only 32. And he's 91 overall, first line. He's got X-Factor and a series of abilities. Besser has a couple of abilities there as well. And yeah, his shooting category is pretty solid. So uh, we do need to be on the lookout for that first line. Their second line, they got Hoaglander, uh, Lambert, and Jared Subban. Okay. So there you go. And then we have Kasha Bolduc. I think that's how it's pronounced. And 86 overall on the third line. Wow. You're getting shafted. They should really move Subban down. But anyway, just my opinion. Uh, defensively, they still got Hughes. Then they got Yalmerson, Thomas. Uh, their team is good, but I think we have a better team. I do. Oh, my word. Okay, we definitely are rocking them in the goaltender category. And we have that 95 overall player. Medium franchise, might I add, in Rod the Bod. So here we go. Round one of the, I am still not sure, but I think it's year 10 playoffs. Vancouver Canucks, Houston Hammerheads, first period. Oh yeah, Lucas Raymond gonna bury one. Good stuff. Second period, okay, that's all right. Lucas Raymond getting another one. They get one from Hoaglander, but that's okay. And I guess we'll do the real-time kind of sim here for the third. So we do have the one goal lead heading into the third. We're definitely out shooting them, but it doesn't matter because Richie's going to tie the game up, even though we have 12 more shots than them. You are kidding me. Where even was this guy? I don't even remember seeing him when we looked at their lines. And then he comes and gets two goals. Might as well get the natural hat trick while you're at it. Oh, I thought he actually did. But no, it was Wu. Okay, well, that's not a good start. 4-2 to two loss. Both of our goals came from Raymond. They got three points from Richie. That is lame. That's okay, though. It's only one matchup. Let's go to game number two. Sim game. We can't lose both games at home. That will be tragic. So we need to really figure it out this game. First period. That's okay. New hook and Petey getting one goal apiece for their respective team. Second. Okay. We got one from Robertson. Some depth that I was hoping for. To once again give us a one goal lead heading into the third period. Shots are a little bit closer this time. We gave Vancouver a power play. We gave them two power plays. Able to kill both of those off. Halfway through the third now. Still a one goal lead for Houston. Shots are going up for both teams here. Robertson again. 
Gonna get us the insurance marker, Bouchard with the empty netter, and Houston walks away with a victory in game number two. Four points from Bouchard, two goals from Robertson, and Teal with a great performance. Okay, beautiful. So now we're heading to Vancouver with a 1-1 series, a best of five. So here we go. Game number three, first game in Vancouver, our first away game of the year 10 playoffs, first period. Wow, that's a good way to start. Reinprecht finally getting on the board, Zegris getting on the board, and Franklin, at a boy, second period. Oh, we get another one from our medium franchise player, and they get another one from Jet Wu. So let's go ahead and simulate the third period here. Come on, boys. Let's just play some shutdown hockey here. We don't need to get any more goals. Okay, wh what is... Who is this guy? Oh, my word. Don't you dare. Lambert getting them within one. And we give them a power play. After a three-goal... Thank you! That's a hat trick for the face of the franchise right now. Beautiful. That is a massive W. Three stars. Obviously, first star is going to be our hat trick boy. No surprises there. Wu having the best series of his life. And Raymond... Getting three hamburger helpers. So that is lovely. Now, we are up 1-0 in the best of five. And maybe we can steal both games in Vancouver. Raymond simulating pretty well. Unlike someone else we know, Zadina. <coughs> and uh, first period. Boom! All right, that's a big first period. Um, yeah, just a lot of goals there. Second period. Ooh. All right, we're tied. Raymond again. This guy's on fire. He better get the hat trick in this third. He has to. I want him to. I mean, he doesn't have to. He's already proven himself. He's done. He could check out for the rest of the series at this point. Like, he's done his bit. But, oh, Torsten, let's go! If he does get a hat trick, though, that would be elite. Come on, someone pass it to him for the empty netter if we even get there. Under three minutes to go, and it looks like Houston will hang on. So we have a 3-1 series lead, heading back to Texas. And things are looking rather nice. Raymond with four points. I mean, sorry, four goals and four assists. I meant to say four each. But it just came out as four points. He actually has eight points, which is a little bit better. He's averaging two points a game right now. Let's see if he can keep it up here in, well, what could be Vancouver's elimination game. First period. Oh, yeah. Fitz. Fire me up. Second period. Ooh, okay. Low scoring contest. We're doubling them in shots, which is crazy. And we only have one more goal than them. So, Corpy Solo at 81 overall, still standing on his head. Of course, they're going to score and tie it up here. We got a power play. Not able to capitalize. We have one goal on 40 shots. Absolutely absurd. That should not be allowed. Fits. Gonna bury one at Corpusalo, and that will do it. Houston moving on to round number two in the Stanley Cup playoffs for a year 10. Corpusalo still having an incredible game. Fitz getting two goals and Teal playing phenomenal as well. So there you go. Raymond didn't get any points that game, but that is okay. That is A-OK, -okay, as a matter of fact. Let's keep simming here and find out who we will be playing in the next round. Oh, wait, that was the AHL. Okay, let's uh, simulate another day. Stop. We get... The Edmonton Oilers, who finished 8-2-0. Wow, 48 wins on the year. Let's sim up to the game. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a good start for us, but Edmonton looks a little scary. I'm not going to lie with that 8-2-0 last 10. So I'm going to have a look at the player stats in the playoffs here. We got Raven with 8. Our medium franchise boy with 7. Actually, he's exact now because he's 27. But anyway, um, yeah, 7 points. Bouchard with 6. What a unit. Zegris with five, and he's a dash one. Huh. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed him. <laughs> anyway, we got New Hook here with a grand total of four points in five games. I mean, he's still point a game, you know? I, yeah, you know what? He's point a game on the second line. Screw everything I just said. He's doing fine. Uh, Robertson with three. He got those two goals early on, which was nice. Miro with three as well. Okay, just scroll down here. And, of course, you're not going to get any points. How are you guys plus three? And doing absolutely nothing. Miles Wood, how many penalties do you have? Can I see that? Did I skip over it somewhere? I probably did. But anyway, um, face-off percentage. Interesting. Maybe he's on the draw for 
penalty kill or something? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, there probably is a way to see... Oh, Pims. Yeah. How did I miss that? He actually has no penalties. Who's taking all the penalties? Cop has two minutes. And we got four minutes from Miro. Okay, four minutes from Zegris and four from Raymond. Huh. It's got 87 discipline. Weird. Okay, they both have 87. Maybe maybe it's uh, a bad number. 87 is the unlucky one. 91 discipline from Rod the Bod. Okay, well, that was a successful first round. I'll show you guys the playoff tree just so you can see how the other series turned out. There you have it. Houston Hammerheads, Edmonton Oilers, round two, coming up next.